and welcome back to another hacking tutorial from Stealth Data Zero. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use post exploitation modules and focus on post exploitation. This is the third phase of hacking. So there's recon, um, which I did briefly um, uh, explain and do a couple videos on, and you can check out my playlist on recon. I did a video on, of course, a lot of client side attacks and exploits, which you can use to gain access into the system. But this is what you do after you gain access into the system. So, normally, the golden rule of persistence is one. 2 is 1 and 1 is none. So once you get into a system, you want to make sure that you have a way to stay in the system, um, gain a bigger foothold, and also allow yourself back into the system. So this is what we're going to focus on, and we're also going to look at Metasploit's post-exploitation models. So if I go over to uh, Metasploit and type banner, we will pull up a banner and as you can see there are 329 um, post models and if you do a search and you could do Windows or Linux or whatever the case may be but if we even just search the word post you can see that we have a ton of post models they give you a brief description of the post module um, a ranking and then a number and there's ones for Linux, Macs, iPhones, everything you can think of, even multiple OS. And then I will show you how you can um, use any of these um, at, at you um, as you understand them. But um, what we're going to do right now is we are hacked into a Windows 10 uh, system and we're going to gain a bigger foothold on the system by social engineering them into downloading another payload. We're going to use do this by hosting a post module which allows DNS spoofing. Um, what it does is inject a uh, script into the host file which um, changes um, a domain name to the IP address of our choosing and then we can do whatever we want from there. So it's just basically DNS spoofing once you have gained access to a system. So if I go ahead and type sessions you can see that I have a couple sessions open. They're all open to the same um, desktop. And if I go ahead and type sessions, tack I, or interact, and four, I can um, interact with session ID four. I can type sys info. And you'll see that we're inside of uh, Windows 10 uh, desktop. And we can even type help and get the full help list. And I talk about how to get persistence with netcat um, on my video and if you guys have been paying attention to my channel I've showed you guys ways to get um, persistence with netcat persistence with PowerShell I showed you guys how to download things with a command shell um, I showed you everything that you really needed um, to really uh, utilize the shell um, whether it be a CMD shell or a interpreter shell so what we're going to do is actually background this. So we're going to hit Control Z and then hit Y for yes. And then we're going to hit back. So we're going to back out of the multi-handler. Now I'm using a hack the world payload. And if you can see, here's all my settings real quick. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and go back. And I love Hack the World. It's been very successful for me for bypassing Windows Defender and other antivirus. Um, it works like other things sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't. But it most of the time works. So um, we're going to use our post module here to DNS spoof ESPN.com and we're going to use social engineering toolkit which can do everything from capture credentials um, to uh, so what you do is type use and then uh, the post modules um, file path. Here I'm going to open up Social Engineering Toolkit by typing SE S -E Toolkit. And this will open up Social Engineering Toolkit for us. I'm going to press 1. And then I'm going to press 2 for Website Attack Vectors. Now as you can see we can drop Java applets, um, 
Metasploit browser exploit. So this will list a bunch of Met Metasploit browser exploits, and you can DNS spoof um, someone to go to any of these pages. And what Metas and what Social Engineering Toolkit does is allows you to do this quickly, and it also clones the website. So the website being cloned. Um, really adds to effect to the social engineering, but we're just going to launch an HTA attack. So we're going to go ahead and press 8. And of course, you have to use the site cloner. And then we're going to do HTTP www.espn.com. So this is going to clone ESPN.com. And if we go over to the victim machine real quick, type a screenshot. So we're going to get a screenshot from before and after. And as you see, everything will be hosted from our Apache server. That's why I turned on my Apache server with service Apache 2 start. That's the command to start the Apache server. But this is the victim computer right now. And it's just open up to a regular Firefox, Firefox browser um, opening page. So as you can see here. Also, if we look at our screenshots from before and after, uh, remember I showed you the screenshot in the beginning of the video, but I'll show you it again. Um, so we go to home. So here is the original screenshot. It's just the Firefox uh, default browser opening page, as I showed you. Um, nothing special here. We type ESPN.com and it DNS spoofs we'll Go ahead and we'll take a screenshot And if we look at this screenshot here, you can see it's the uh, ESPN clone, looks exactly like ESPN. Um, and it asks you to download the HTA uh, attack. And again, that bypasses smart screen, um, bypasses user account control. So everything looks very convincing and it's not hard to get someone to download this payload um, because it will keep popping up. If not, they'll just download it and run it to get it out of the way, thinking it's something that it's necessary to run the page. And they just type ESPN.com. As you can see, the logo is here, but this is actually on our Apache server right now. So every Everything appears legit. It's just asking them to download this launcher HTA, which is an HTML application. That's what it explains to them, and you're good to go. So it's a very convincing attack, and then you'll get your second interpreter shell and a deeper foothold onto the system. All right, let's go ahead and close this session again. Just background it, and. When you're setting up a post module, you can do show options to see what options it needs. So this needs a domain, an IP address, and then most post modules, if not all, will require a session. So we're going to set sessions to 4 because that's the session we're interacting with. We're going to set IP address. Now if you're doing this remotely, you'd want to use your public IP address. Um, but if you're doing it over the LAN, you just can use ifconfig and use your internal IP address, which will lead them to your Apache server, which is where our attack is going to be hosted from. And again, 
<clears throat> and again, this is a social engineering HTA attack, um, so it's very convincing. It bypasses smart screen, um, and it has a lot of benefits to it. So we set our IP, and then we need the set domain. So this is the domain that we want to spoof. www.espn.com then we can do show options just for good measure and for the demo sake and you can see that all of our options are set uh, so then we can go ahead and actually type exploit and as you can see everything's done um, we have now actually spoofed because all um, a host name is is a link to an IP address so for instance facebook.com has a series of IP addresses um, and when we type facebook.com the computer decides okay it's that IP address and it goes there well we're actually telling the computer that ESPN.com now resides here and it's actually going to be a malicious clone of ESPN.com where we can um, drop a payload so let's go to social engineering toolkit and finish our payload as you can see it already has our outhost figured out for us if we were doing this uh, remotely we would use our public IP address we already have our multi-handler listening on port 4443 so we're going to use 44444 um, because you can't have um, two multi-handlers listening on the same payload we're going to use an HTTPS connection because that's an encrypted shell and it's just more professional, helps us keep more anonymous and helps avoid deep packet analysis, deep packet analysis, eavesdropping and all of those other methods because it's encrypted. So it's actually going to generate the shell code for us right now and that's what it's doing right now and um, it will actually start Metasploit and the multi-handler for us. And this is great because Social Engineering tool Toolkit will allow you to launch this attack very quickly. And sometimes during pen testing and hacking, time is of great value and being able to um, get this stuff set up very, very, very quickly is uh, more than valuable. So we're going to go ahead and let this uh, uh, generate. And as you can see, it's embedded in the HTA attack, um, which is written in PowerShell. Um, it's cloning ESPN.com, and then it's copying all the files to our Apache server, which if we look over here, our Apache server, the index file, is now going to be the cloned HTML. And you could actually add a beef hook to this to um, take your attack one step further. Um, and if you add a beef hook, you would obviously have the effects of um, beef and doing beef commands, or you could add geolocation. Um, you can change the code any way you would like. And then here's the HTA launcher, which will launch the HTA attack, which we will hopefully get a shell from um, if the person is social engineered correctly. And doing this method, um, it's very likely that they will be. So as you can see, it's starting by display for us, which is great. And we just got to wait a second. And as soon as it's launched, I'm going to type ESPN.com into the uh, victim machine. And um, it's going to take us to the DNS spoofed uh, ESPN.com. It's going to ask us to download the HTA attack, which most people would download because a lot of websites now come with pop-ups and things of that nature. Um, and they would simply just click yes to get it out of the way and uh, you would easily be able to gain another shell. So I'm going over to the target machine right now, www.com.espn.com. And as you can see, um, it 
you're you're getting a um, encoded stager so the stager is actually encoded and this is on the Metasploit or the social engineering toolkit side as you can see we still have a uh, session over here on the original Metasploit uh, system and it's still working and over here on social engineering toolkit we have our uh, encoded uh, stager so as you can see an enabled staging or uh, stage encode stager um, it also this payload is written in C and uses PowerShell injection um, if we go ahead and type sessions on this Metasploit um, sessions you can see that we have the same sessions open to the same uh, desktop so if I were to hit control Z Y yes type sessions You can see it's the same desktop, and then of course I can do sessions, tag I, one, and interact with this session as well. And that is how you use post modules um, for DNS spoofing. Of course they can do other things like kill uh, antivirus, and you can also kill antivirus like Windows Defender using PowerShell. Um, so once you get into a system, the main things that you want to do is disable antivirus, um, focus on getting persistence away back into the system, and as you can see, we have shells on multiple ports here. We have our shells here, and then we have our shells here, so if any of our shells die, I'll be able to start my payload again. Of course, uh, migration is another great tool that you can use. Um, migration allows you, even if your payload is deleted, um, for you to uh, migrate to another process. And even if your payload is deleted, you'll be able to get um, or stay in the system. But as you can see, we have uh, multiple shells open on the same system. Um, and we did that with uh, social engineering and um, the DNS spoofing uh, post module. Um, so hopefully you found the video informative. If you did, go ahead and drop a like, subscribe for more content. And like I said, we'll be getting into more of post exploitation. Um, and check out my Windows uh, interpreter guide. Um, for more information and also my Windows uh, interpreter command uh, videos. As always, have fun, stay safe, keep hacking, peace out, links in the descriptions.